This is your CBS 46 News Update, brought to you by West Shore Home. Good morning, I'm Gervier Denza. Today, three high schools in Cherokee County, which closed because of coronavirus cases, are reopening for in-person instruction, but uh, they're going to do it on a hybrid model. This is Etowah, Woodstock, and Creekview High Schools. They're going to be going through that short-term hybrid situation. It does not impact any students who are already enrolled in digital learning. Today, former Vice President Joe Biden and his wife Jill will travel to Kenosha, Wisconsin. It'll mark the first time the Democratic presidential candidate is going to be in Wisconsin this year. According to his campaign, Joe Biden will hold a community meeting in Kenosha and will make a local stop. He is set to I meet. I think that, they owe, uh, that this salon owes me an apology for setting up. That's House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. She was caught on video getting her hair done inside a San Francisco hair salon despite the city's rules that say that you can't do that. The salon's owner shared the video with Fox News, calling the visit a slap in the face. Speaker Pelosi says the salon told her she could come inside. She's calling the incident a setup. Legendary New York Mets pitcher Tom Seaver, who helped lead the team to win the 1969 World Series, has died. The Hall of Famer suffered from complications of Lewy body dementia and COVID-19. He was 75 years old. We got through it as a family. We are stronger, we are better, and we did it together. Dwayne The Rock Johnson says he, his wife, and their two daughters tested positive for coronavirus. He revealed the diagnosis on Instagram, saying they caught the infection from close family friends. His family got the results more than two weeks ago. He says they've now recovered. University of Georgia quarterback Jamie Newman has opted out of the college football season over coronavirus concerns. Head coach Kirby Smart sent out a statement saying he fully supports his decision. Georgia will now likely turn to JT Daniels to take that spot. The dogs open the season at Arkansas on September 26th. And the coronavirus also impacting Dragon Con. It kicks off today, but it's going virtual for the first time in 34 years. The convention typically brings, uh, as many of you know, 85,000 people to downtown Atlanta. Well, this year, the virtual event is free for everybody. There's going to be a costume contest, a virtual parade, as well as an art show. You can check out everything at dragoncon.org for more details. Let's get the latest now on today's weather with meteorologist Fred Campagna. Well, a beautiful day ahead for us, uh, Gravier. We're looking at sunshine this afternoon. It'll be a hot one. Temperatures will climb through the 80s, reach the low 90s, and it will feel even hotter than that. So our hour-by-hour hour forecast shows that 81 at 10 this morning, 87 at noontime, and about 91 uh, by 2 or 3 this afternoon. This is what it'll feel like, though. By 11 this morning, it's feeling close to 90 in Atlanta, and it'll feel like 95 in Atlanta by late this afternoon. Closer to triple digits as you get from Covington to Athens. A few thin clouds out there today. Nothing more than that. Dry skies continue tomorrow and into the Labor Day weekend. And there's a decent chance that it will stay dry through the Labor Day weekend as well. So fine stretch of weather ahead. Here's Atlanta's most accurate seven-day forecast. 92 on Friday, near 90 on Saturday. Upper 80s in the forecast for Sunday and for Labor Day. Just a 20% chance of an afternoon shower or storm on Sunday. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News, brought to you by West Shore Home, Atlanta's one-day bath remodeler.